you ever wondered where your puppies go? Well, I probably did at the age of five, but nowadays I sort of know where they go, but I don't really know what they do with it. So, uh, let's go out and find out, shall we? As I'm here, I'm just currently in Anchor Wood, and uh, just looking at these Harris fencings, and well, these Harris fencings have been here a rather long time, and I'll tell you how long they've been here. See that bit of wire wrapped around it? I put it there. And I know I put it there because I'm a bit of a genius with the old tie and wire. And uh, yeah, it's definitely my tie and wire. So yeah, these house fences have been up for a while. Mind you, they have put concrete blocks on them to keep them up. So then, all your poopies come down to a place like this annoyingly they fenced it all off so I can't actually uh, get in and show you properly um, but however I can actually smell it so basically it all comes down to a building like this uh, by gravity in a network of uh, pipes and if you can see that grid there um, basically it all goes into a big fuck off like hole in the ground and it's then pumped over to the um, sorting station the um sewage sorting station and uh yeah that's how you enter it this um building's actually a bit like a tardis because it's all under the ground and everything you'll probably find i'm still stood on top of it now but yeah uh here's a pumping station and once it comes here it's then pumped over to the sewage treatment plant where it's um purified or it might even pump it into the river because it also pumps into the river uh, usually when it rains very hard but they're allowed to put a certain percentage into the river right currently on the good old push bike having a good old ride around and uh, yeah the pipe from that pumping station goes right across the river and over there somewhere where the uh, sewage treatment plant is now I'm a bit giddy about talking on the camera in public because it's, uh, well, you're doing a strange thing, but, yeah. I love living in North Devon. So anyway, I'm going to show a quick clip of uh, me in a pipe so you can see what these networks of pipes look like for yourself and basically these networks of pipes and this pipe does lead to the sewage uh, pump that I've just shown you but basically um, these pipes feed the sewage to the pumping station where it is pumped over to the sewage works where we are going to teleport to now. This is the one. Just currently on the uh, cycle track. There's this place back here. I'm not sure if this is the sewage works, but it definitely looks like something I would imagine the sewage works would look like. I thought the sewage works was actually further down the tug trail a little bit, but uh, I think it might be worth flying the drone over this place because it actually looks quite reasonably interesting. So, looking around for hazards, the power cables might be a hazard, and well, I'll be flying right above them, so it doesn't really matter. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll quickly get the drone out just to see what this place uh, looks like. And then uh, we'll go over to what I think is the sewage plant. Well, I, found, I was just up there and I found this rather helpful track to these gates. And according to this sign, South West Waters uk slash pollution there is a bit of a stream though if I could just show ya over here but this to me isn't the main sorting depot however I think it might be the beginning of it but a big concrete thing looks quite interesting 
wouldn't mind getting my drone round that actually. So uh yeah, let's check on um drone assist a minute just so I know I can fly it down here one hundred percent because uh there is a military base just down the road but that is a good couple of miles still so yeah let's get the drone up in the air and have a look shall we we'll have a better idea of what all this stuff does right i want to be quick with this the one point has been updated please check it on the map place i want to quickly go to as well so i don't want to use all my battery power up on this one place all right let's go up nice and high so I've got no hazards, there's the tall bridge, I just crossed that one and the place we want to have a look at is right there. Alright, so have a look at it from here. So you've got um, a building there, I'm assuming that there's like pubs and machinery and all sorts in there to control the volume of water turning up. Go and have a look at this big concrete cylinder. I can't actually see my drone. Oh, there it is. Right. Ah, that's interesting. Very interesting. I wonder what this thing's for then. So I'm assuming that this is all sewage water. Go right over it. I don't want to go too far over it because at least if where my drone is now, if it falls out of the sky, it gets to go retrieve it. I don't want to retrieve it out of here. But zoom in a little bit. So yeah, I think this is all your sewage right here in this um big big concrete tank. And I think this then goes over to a, another site which I'm now going to cycle over to in a minute to uh, fly the drone over so yeah it's not much to look at here other than a big concrete cylinder so we'll reverse it back oh hang on a minute what's that right next to it that's um interesting I wonder what that is then Oh, it's grated as well. So I'm assuming there's sewage passing through there or there's some sort of machinery in there that controls the flow of the sewage. I'm not 100% sure. But more buildings there. More buildings there. And as you can see, there's me. Right, let's come back. Oh, hang on a minute, there is something I forgot to do. Just have a quick look at the views we're up here. Could live in such a beautiful world. Well, I'm not going any higher though, because I don't see the point. Let's bring it down. The drone makes a good noise, doesn't it? It's like a swarm of bees. Landing. Landing. Right, let's go to our next location then. Now we come here to the main sorting station. A bit bigger than what I remember actually. Um, you see why I wanted to save my uh, drone battery, but definitely the um, treatment centre because if you look over there. There's a um, Southwest Waters van and a stink wagon. So, to me, that indicates that this is definitely the right place. And, well, the only thing I can say is, let's get the drone up in the air and have a look round, shall we? Because, well, fuck all I can say about it from here. So the problem I've got is, I know everything about what happens to the sewage until it gets about here, and then I'm a bit clueless. Um, I think there are people in there, but there's no one to tell that I'm going to fly a drone up in the air, so I might as well um, just carry on with what I'm doing and hopefully uh, in an audit audit fashion um, someone might come and speak to me, hopefully, but um, 
I personally don't want to be anywhere near that gate. I've got a feeling it might be electrified as well. But hey ho. Right, let's get the drone up in the air, shall we? Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Right. Have a, have a look. Go higher, shall we? Just gotta watch them get run over by some numpty on a push bike. Alright, you can see these big circles of um is that water? Yep, water. And uh, you can see seagulls swimming around in it. Now, if those seagulls had a clue what they were swimming around in, do you really think they would be swimming around in it? <laughs> I don't think so. But hey ho, the seagulls, they don't know any better. So yeah, the sewage seems to be stored in these great gut drums. That lorry there, on site we call it the stink wagon. What that lorry basically does is it goes to building sites or even septic tanks or whatever the excuse and basically it pumps it out and then it brings it here for sorting out. And then we've got all these buildings here with pipes all leading to it. Um, I don't know what any of it is. When I looked at this on Google Maps, I actually thought these big circle things were like sealed drums, but obviously not. Um, I don't think they convert any of the sewage to gas here though, unless this, that's all something to do with all this. But I'm assuming the sewage being pumped through all these pipes here. Um, well from here there ain't really a lot we can see so have a little gander over here shall we maximum flight distance reached really Well, apparently it's my maximum flight distance. I doubt it. I'm pretty sure it can go further, but I don't think my drone is um, set up properly, so we won't we won't be able to see. However, those cylinders over there might make gas. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I really don't know what I'm actually looking at, but yeah, it's all quite interesting looking stuff, isn't it? I wouldn't mind having a tour around the place. It'd be pretty quite cool to do. Uh, but. I think we've roughly seen um, everything we need to see. Right, bring my drone back, shall we? Bit of a bummer, I can't go any further. I might do this again one day with my drone set up properly, but I don't want my drone set up properly. Oh, might as well have a good look at the river whilst we're here, because, you know what I mean, we live in such a beautiful world, like, you know what I mean? Might as well have a quick look around, then it. The maximum. Let's go to the maximum. Maximum flight altitude reached. All right. I'm going to be extremely restricted because my drone's not set up properly, so that's a bit of a shame. <laughs> yeah. Well, more of a story, ladies and gentlemen. If you plan on filming with your drone, make sure your uh, software's up to date properly. Annoyingly, mine isn't because I haven't had it out for a while, but. Yeah, I'll get it all set up properly, and then I'll be able to have a bit more fun with it. But I think I've roughly got everything I want for this video, so we'll land it down and we'll finish up here.
Landing. Right, drone's back in the bag, and um, well, I suppose that's the end of my video on the um, sewage treatment plant. That's what a sewage treatment plant looks like. That's where all your turds go, and uh, yeah, I actually find it quite interesting, actually. A bit annoying that my uh, drone ain't set up properly, because I could fly it all around there if I wanted to, but annoyingly, my drone ain't set up properly. Dozy me, didn't think about checking it before bringing it out, but hey-ho. That's such as life, isn't it? We all make mistakes, live and let learn, isn't it? But, um, yeah, this is um, my video on um, sewage. Well, I suppose I could have come down here without looking at this thing. This thing's quite interesting. It's like a big fuck off digger with a big fuck off digger arm to demolish in the uh, civic centre. I'm not going to get my drone out for this one. I might do on a later date, but I'm not getting it out now due to. Um, I need to update my drone, <laughs> but yeah, some pretty neat stuff.